Hello everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome back to Space Engineers. Today we're doing another ship spotlight from Workshop and this time it is another UNSC ship, or should I say a Halo ship from the Halo universe. And this time it's the UNSC Strident class heavy frigate, which you get to see in Halo 4 and 5. Yes, Halo 4 and 5. Basically, uh, if you remember from Spartan Ops, the UNSC Infinity, the giant capital warship, Dreadnought class, whatever it is, um, it deploys 10 of these from its sub dock inside the actual ship itself. And these are the Strident class. It's amazing. It's literally one of the coolest things ever in Halo. I'll pop up a clip, and hopefully I won't get copyrighted for it. But I'll pop up a clip so you guys can see, and there we go. So anyway, this is a fantastic build, as I knock from now, set up my hand. It's made by Derp2793. Now he's amazing. This build is simply amazing. I've not seen many builds of Strident class on the workshop before, simply because we don't have that many pictures of it. We don't see very many up close in detail. I know there is one in a Halo 4 map, but I don't think you can get that close to it. Anyway, this one's amazing. It's, it's all vanilla as well, my ad. So whereas usually I review the frigates made by unauthorized, these ones are actually all vanilla. It's amazing. And the design details go on to, if we just go around here, the fact that you just grind it down conveyor tubes and everything to create this sort of, I don't know if it's sort of like a Matt Cannon looking sort of structure. Obviously the Matt Cannon would be on top here. And obviously this is vanilla game, so it doesn't have a Matt Cannon, it's too rocky, it wants just to imitate that. So you've got to put up with that. You know, I know you could use mods and everything, but then it would be a vanilla, so you know, it's so hard. Also, the use of these grinded down consoles up here, or button panels I should say, it really adds to the aesthetic features of this. Anyway, we're going to take the tour inside, if I remember where the door is, it's here. So we need to teleport our character out, we're hey, F6, and we're in. I've left the door open. Brilliant. Anyway, let's go down. Going into the first level here, we have some timer blocks. We also have some upgrades here. These things aren't actually plumbed in, I think. Well, you know, conveyed in, plumbed in, same thing. So I don't, I think I just there for like aesthetic looks. Air vent over here, it's pressurized thing, so I suppose there's no option here. I wonder if we pressurize or close these doors upstairs. I wonder if that one out would start pressurizing. Yes, look, we close the doors and it's pressurizing. Amazing. So yes, that's how that works. Now this is sort of a really, <laughs> this surprised me a bit when I first wandered through. I couldn't actually grab what it was. It's a missile bay, so it launches like nukes or something. I don't know, I think they're meant to imitate nukes or just general missiles. But I, I actually didn't know these were actually on board the ships. It's amazing to see these in here. And we'll test them out a bit later. But we'll grab the generators there because obviously they use mass box, I believe, inside them to propel themselves up. So yeah, that's quite cool. Moving through again, the like aesthetic detail that goes into this. Look at this here. It's amazing. But oh, what's this bandit? Missile doors. Missile bay lights. Oh! We can turn on the lights, that's cool. Right, let's move on. And let's move on again. Oh, oh we do need pressure. Oh yeah, because we, we opened all the doors, didn't we? Logic. Uh, what's this do? Interior lights. Oh, we can turn the lights on. Fantastic. And this is missile bay that way, obviously. I love it when people put signposts in here. It does make my job of exploring the ships a lot easier. Uh, what's up there? If that's something to go up there, we'll check out in a minute. Hangar, reactor, and drop pods. Let's go take a look at this. Reactor and hangar. A oh, reactor's this way and a hangar's down there. So let's go with reactor then. Using pistons on a, on a ship. This person's brave. <laughs> Derp2793 is definitely brave for using pistons. We all know what they're like in space, you know. What does this do then? Reactor on. I presume it's on. What does this do? Reactor off. Oh dear. Oh, that's cool. I like that. That's amazing. For some reason my space students client today is being really jittery, like those pistons there look jittery. I know the, I know pistons are not the perfect thing in the world, but Okay. There we go, if we turn things on, everything calms down. What's down here then? Oh, this must be drop pods, I think. No, this is this is more going into here, yeah, what's this do then? Windows. Whoa! Wait, this is not pressure how does that work? They just let the pressure out or something, that's weird. This is quite weird, it's like another engineering bay back here then. Let's seal those up. And run away. And back up here again. Way. Oh, we've gone too far. Now where are we? What's this area? Okay, let's just keep going. That's like a mini cryo room. And if we go up here, we have entered... A gyro area. The Australian class heavy rig is a frigate class employed in the post-war UNSC Navy. Utilized primarily for escort of large capital ships and for rapid offensive engagement. UNSC Infinity carries 10 vessels of this within her internal docking bays. 
There you go, Infens offensive deployment, I think it just said. Basically, what's this do? Interior lights. Do anything. Oh, this is an exit at the back. So basically, this frigate is more used as an offensive class, where some of the smaller ones are either used as support or just like um, uh, defense. Because I know Charm class is support, Stalwart class is support, I believe. I think it's support. If not, it's a light attack frigate. I don't know why it would be um, an attack frigate, because it's like paper. But yes, the like, I think the Strident class is like one of the units, the post war Unity's first offensive vessels. Anyway, if we pop up here, I mean, that's enough story time for me. Hang oh, did we forget to visit the hangar? We forgot to visit the hangar. How do we get down to the hangar then? Oh, it's down here, isn't it? See, thank God for signposts. Right, can I get down space engineers? Come on, please. What's in here? Oh, this is hangar bit. Yay, we found a way in. Obviously, you can store a few small ships in here. You can probably store... Hmm, that's a good question. What is actually... Does the Strident class have a hangar bit? I guess it stores pelicans and stuff. Yeah, because it breaks away. That's one thing I find about the Strident class. It breaks away from the typical norm of UNSC frigates. Which, I don't know whether I like or not. Because I, I really like the classic UNSC design. But a lot of people saying like the post-war stuff is very different. Which it would be as well. It's post-war. It's going to be different. Oh, this is quite cool. I love this drop pod concept. How to open drop pod doors, turn on gyros, get in drop pods, turn on mass, turn off connector. Okay, so what we're going to do? Open drop pod to doors, turn on gyros, alright. Oh, we've just depressurized itself. We're going to turn on gyros, apparently. Are gyros already on? Online. I think he said disconnect merge block, disconnect connector. Oh, Jesus. Let's get out of that. <laughs> wow, that, that's gone. That's def. <laughs> it works, and we can confirm it works. Let's get back in the ship. Wow, <laughs> that's actually really cool. I like that. So that's basically like the ODST drop pods. They're amazing. <laughs> actually, really cool. What's this button do then? Drop pod doors, gyros. I wish like mass turns a gyro on or something like that. That's cool. Let's leave this area before an accident happens. Me and pistons and rotors and stuff don't really get on. Going up, we are in the drop pod bay. Yes, we need to go up again. And I think the next area is the bridge. Oh, I've hit my head. Hey, uh, is this interior lights? There we go. Don't know why they're off. Right up here, I believe, is the bridge. Probably should have read the signpost. Don't know why that's offline. Are you meant to be offline? Okay, I'm not sure why it's showing offline. Ooh, loads of cryo bays here. Because obviously the UNSC employs cryo bays. But for some reason all the signposts have turned off. Not entirely sure why that's happened. Hmm, okay, a bit weird. Now I believe we go one is this the bridge? Ah oh, yes, this is the bridge area. Yay, we're at the bridge. Right, interior lights. Maintenance lights. Okay, they don't do anything. Hangar signals. Hangar lights. Okay, let's press all of that. Press everything. I think we need a projector. Moving on, what's up here? Oh, this is like a proper command bridge. And there we got the glorified view of Strident. I didn't give you guys a full out tutorial at any point out some details, so we'll take a look at the out tutorial in a minute. Actually, we can do that now. Switch to spectator mode. Right, so you guys have seen the whole of the inside of a ship. It's amazing. Can't confirm. I was using an airlock, sir. Oh, there's a back area to the bridge. Actually, did we come up here? We came up here. Oh no, we came down there. That's how we got in. Oh, so this back area, the airlock area, you have to go up these two separate elevators. That's pretty cool. I like it. There's also an oxygen farms over here, so it's kind of a practical ship. I like it. I really do like it. And I love it. And I like it. And here's that door we almost walked out earlier. It's quite cool. I don't know why the LCD screens are turned off. Oh, so the Strident class, I'm pretty sure has... Is it two giant engines or three giant engines? I think it's two. This here kind of imitates the engine setup, obviously. And these wing tips here, like armor tips, you see the most on, like, nearly every UNSC frigate has a standard type of armor plating, but, like, winged out. It's like in the cells from Star Trek, basically. Obviously, we've got your main thrusters down here. Now, obviously, a standard, when this, when you first get a ship and spawn it in, two hydrogen, no, four hydrogen thrusters are turned off, only the two middle ones are on. That is simply because it's, it's atmospheric capable, so you can fly it down that planet. The only reason I didn't today was because it was caused havoc. Because for some reason, uh, spacers wanted to drag the ship down 
into the ground because the physics engine doesn't like me apparently. But yeah, you get the gist of it. It can work in atmosphere, if you try. More drop pod doors down here, we've opened them all up obviously. If there was a way to mass deploy them that would be cool. Why is this door? Oh, did we close that door? We did. Giant cargo containers here. Is there a connector somewhere? That's one thing I've not seen. I don't understand the point of these windows here. I guess for like aesthetic design. Don't really understand the point of it. I wouldn't have it there. Yes, there's a connector over here. That's where we can connect things. Amazing. Not sure why we. The car container's been exposed to my liking. That's one thing I don't like. Also, there's flashing light down here. Don't point out. Anyway, I really want to know your thoughts on this ship, guys, because to me, it's a very good vanilla build for Strident class. There's not much. I don't think there's many like in-depth detail images of the Strident class you want to see for it. I know there's plenty of like Char and Paris and Stalwart classes, but this one here. To build it to this amount of detail and stuff, it's really amazing. A round of applause to the guy for building it, it's amazing. So, I would urge you to check it out in the um, Steam, obviously. Yeah, check it out Steam. I've been Captain Jack. Hope you enjoyed watching this. I'm going to go before I can't remember any words anymore. Hope you're all having a good day. Goodbye.